to how can you deal best with moth on a wool carpet and rug and how can we prevent them from the th in the first place bearing in mind that some areas are hard to reach due pr to pres uh, presence of large pieces of furniture so christine uh, the last part of your question of course it's got a key to it heavy pieces of furniture that is those items sit on that carpet and they hardly ever move and that's where those moths like to hide uh, they hide under the furniture and they don't like to be disturbed so they find themselves a nice little home under there and that's where they sit and if you don't move the furniture that's where they start to breed and that's usually where the the moths lay the eggs because they know that's where their babies are going to be safe the other place to look for is also in the airing cupboard so they will go somewhere where they're not going to be disturbed and that's the key the first thing you can do is keep on top of the vacuuming a regular good vacuum will definitely and chase them away because they don't like the noise they don't like to be disturbed and of course the vacuum sucks up the eggs and all the other babies and all that um, and that caused them to, to go now of course if you do not want to have that hassle but of course i would always recommend that the absolute other side of the scale is to then look at well you know let's say you do have a lot of moth then you can go you know what how do we treat them then an insecticide is the way to go but I'd be very straight with you. Christine, I do not like to use an insecticide in somebody's home. This is a poison that is spray, sprayed on the carpet to kill the insects. Now, of course, if the poison is taken in your home, it's not good for your health either. So what we do at Art of Clean, I would rather pass that on to a trusted friend and say you can do it because they do it every day. They absolutely stay on top of the training, which is so essential. Um, you know, and I, I, I come from a good place here. I know there's carpet cleaners out there that offer the service and, you know, they're good as gold. I don't want to say they don't do a safe service for you. The only thing is, if you don't do it on a regular basis, you don't attend regular training, you won't be absolutely at the forefront on this. And as a cleaner myself, I know our team goes out, we see moths from time to time, but not often enough to say, you know what, we absolutely have everything and we treat moths every day. So for that reason, I move away from spraying an insecticide on the carpet. What we'd rather do is apply something that's like salt that makes the carpet less tasty for the moths. And for that reason, they will less likely move into your carpet. So we can apply that for you. And it's a very safe product. It's not the insecticide. But even down from that, I like to go and solve something that's easy and simple to deal with. And that is by just simply saying, get a regular vacuum on the carpet. Keep that going. Move the furniture as hard as it sometimes can be. Don't let them stand there for months on end. Then after that, just speak to the neighbors as well. Because I've seen it before where somebody phones me out of desperation saying, oh, Pierre, I've done everything. I've had the pest control mania and I still find moths. And then after several months, they speak to the neighbor and the neighbor said, yeah, I see them flying around. And yeah, it doesn't bother me much. So they're actually breeding next door and then crawling through the, the, the cracks into your home and that's where they go. So speak to the neighbors as well. And another little tip, if you vacuum the carpet, take that vacuum and feed outside in the bin. Don't leave it in the cupboard because they crawl out of the vacuum and make a little home in the airing cupboard where the vacuum cleaner is stored. So Christine, I hope that helps you. I know it's probably not giving you a solution as to what to do with the heavy furniture, but every so many months, give it a move and move that, uh, get the vacuum cleaner on there.